is up, you guys. Do y'all favorite to so read it, and I am back. It's another read. Okay, honey, period. I am Take the Personal Readings. You can catch at me at Money Sign Capri 6. You can also email me or Apple Pay me at at the priest y'all all right i work on energy energy is fluid so this could be about you this could be about person that you're thinking about or anybody thinking about you okay so this is going to be for my capricorn also time is the illusion so this could be the past the present or the future but somehow it's affecting you right now okay so spirit guides ascended master soul family twin flame family please be here with me at this time helping me receive a message to deliver to my capricorns for january 1st through the 7th very fiery energy very boss like making shit happen going through changes it's kind of like i'm going through changes like i'm trying to make shit happen for myself i'm finding who i am 55 things within the masters with the um scorpio card at the bottom of the deck putting a depth putting a depth to this power moment that has been prolonged i feel like somebody has been in this power moment for too long because they haven't wanted to see they haven't trusted themselves they haven't trusted the death process and now with this scorpio card here i feel like there's a death needed to be put to something to some kind of job because we do have the number two here and we also have the transformation card and the neptune card here <clears throat> so let's go ahead and tap into what's going on for my capricorn for january 1st through the 7th with the number 53 here with the number eight so i feel like this is a lot of like listening to your inner self like listening to your higher self also like tapping into like your inner child listening to her allowing her to flourish allowing her to dance and to sing i feel like music is very very important right now music is delivering a lot of messages as well as like a lot of feelings like it's creating feelings it's creating like I have chills right now i just want y'all to see so god is around me spirit is near me like i feel like we should do something crazy like i feel like there's a lot of risk taking that's happening right now during this eclipse i feel like there is a lot of um messages coming to you in your dreams to to thank you sending masters i feel like there are a lot of like next steps a lot of um i just started making a baby there's a lot of like visions somebody's having a lot of visions like in the like awake state while we were young so i feel like if somebody could be dating somebody from their childhood somebody could have met like an old childhood friend and they are now communicating with each other again okay so we got cleaning house so um, I feel like this is that spring cleaning. This is kind of like cleaning out your house in order, like if you want like new clothes and stuff, you have to clean out your closet so that you can make room for those clothes. I feel like this is kind of like you cleaning out your life, um, letting go of people, places, and things that no longer serve you, um, letting go of things in your junk drawer. <laughs> 321, thank you, Saint Master. That's for me. Letting go of shit that's in your junk drawer. Also, like, if you have a cat that you're not taking care of, maybe you should just let them go and give them to a family that can take care of them. I'm also seeing, like, rose petals on the floor. So, I feel like this is somebody wanting to come over. Or this is, like, like you getting your house clean so your new boo can come over. This could also be, like, moving in. Like, somebody wanted to put their motherfucking clothes in a drawer. Like, this is, like, somebody really... And then we have this fell on top of assets with the number 37. And so 7, 8, 9, 10. So 10, 10 plus 2, that's 12. So thank you, Ascended Master. So I feel like what's happening is the more and more you get rid of things, God is telling you the more and more I will gift to. The more people you get rid of, the more clothes you get rid of, the more money you get rid of, all of that, just as quickly as you get rid of it, I will usher that back in for you. That's beautiful as fuck. Spirit of place with the number four here spirit of place i don't really know like how i'm taking that right now is spirit of place i feel like every place that you go to has its own spirit i feel like somebody has like a haunted house somebody house they feel like their house is haunted somebody needs to cleanse their energy of their house that's why the cleansing house with the spirit of place is here i also feel like the soul of your home is trying to communicate with you um about something if you're hearing a lot of creaks or um, anything like that, 55 thank you for the masters. 
I feel like there, there's some kind of message. I'm getting so many chills. There's some kind of message that is not being delivered. And then it says 124 on my clock, but that's not the real time. The real time is 216. So 36 equal 9. About leadership. I feel like somebody has a past life as a leader. 22 thank you said masters and somebody is needing to tap back into their memory um i feel like somebody has bad memory and it's kind of like the more and more you start to tap into your memory i just I'll, i have to show y'all this because i looked at it the more and more you unlock pieces of yourself so that you can fill up your cut with the king of wands at the bottom of the deck cancer scorpio i mean that was an accident i meant aries leo sagittarius so I feel like spirit of place. I feel like this is that gut feeling. This is that spirit. Like this is that that place in your in your heart in your soul where you kind of feel spirit take over. Where you know that the discernment that you're feeling is from spirit. It's from a higher power. Like something in the water is not okay. And then she has like um something in the walls is different. That's crazy. So to me, I kind of feel like something about your house is different. Somebody could have died in your home. Hold on, because my house just made a noise. God, don't tell me that. You different and you distant. I feel like you are, like, disconnecting yourself from a lot of people who, you know, who you in the past, like, you were acting as, like, a one-ring circus for. With the number six here. So, this could have been children or somebody that you had a, a child with. It's like... Like, you were going over the top for this person. Like, you were doing everything for this person. Like, literally. And I, I feel like they, there was no coming together. There was no commitment. But what I'm seeing now is this could be coming up for you. A new coming together and a new commitment. Because now you have transformed. The more and more people that you have swept out of your life. The more and more people and, and things that God is going to bring to you. I feel like there is a coming together of, like, you and a business partner. Or a child. Because it has a stork here with the number eight come together so i feel like there is some kind of love making there is some type of child who is trying to come into fruition who is transitioning from being in the the the, the place the spirit of place i feel like their spirit is now being placed with you in you that's beautiful i've never picked up on anything like that but that's cute <laughs> that's cute I saw the star card here, so I feel like somebody's child is being born a star. Also, with the three of cups, I feel like this is a celebration of a new of a birth. Um, I feel like, and the reason why you're having sleepless nights is because you did not really see this coming because you were too busy focused on the things that were not coming into fruition. You were too busy focused on men or women or jobs or um, family members who did not have your best interests at heart, who did not want the same things for you as that you wanted for yourself or that you wanted for them. So you could have been sitting here like, yeah, you know, I want you to have a good life. I want you to have this. I want you to have that. And whole time, all you were doing were was flowing your cup into them. And now you need to rest from that with the four of swords. Like your cup is filled up, but now what happens is when it when it overflows, it overflows to the point where you 33 think it's in the to the point where you think you can just fill everybody cup. It overflows, but it doesn't overflow that much. So it's like you cannot pour into everybody else like you can't like sometimes you have to pour into yourself and into your family and your mission and your legacy and your work to be honest and as far as work goes i feel like with the four of swords somebody is needed to rest to rest like even if that means not making as much money even if that means your assets will be affected I feel like there's a needing to move on from something that hurts you with the Ten of Swords here with the Six of Wands. I mean, Six of Wands, which means success. But with the Six of Swords here, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, I feel like what's happening is this ending. You got a lot of swords. You got four swords. But with, with this Ten of Swords and the Six of Swords, that equals seven. So I feel like this is like moving on from because the seven of swords is about deceptive behavior 33 think it's in the masters so this is putting it into the feeling because the ending fell on top of assets so this could be like an ending being put to a job so that you can be your own boss and love yourself enough to quit this job but this could also just be like a death to feeling worried about your finances like a death to feeling worried about anything that 
doesn't serve your highest purpose or your highest good you are a badass being full of love life and possibilities i feel like this is god telling you that you need to dead you know the worry and the fear and stuff like that and you need to listen to god because i feel like you've been asking god like is this shit real is this shit real is this shit really going to come into fruition and god is telling you like the wheel is turning bitch like 10 oh 10 20 equal three thank you what's in masses like you're about to be a star bitch you have manifested this I don't want to wait another minute. 33, thank you, Ascended Masters. It's kind of like I'm not waiting for my destiny. I'm not going to sit on my ass and wait for a man to love me or wait for somebody to invest in me or wait for a business partner to want to give me money. Bitch, like what? You say what? God give me the feels. Like God told me, God is giving me the chills, bitch. Like I can do anything that I want to do. I feel like God is giving you those feels. God is giving you that self-love and abundance so that you can literally manifest your deepest desires, sis. Period. Like, that should, this is going to be my screenshot. Like, period. I feel like it's so important. 11, 11, period. God, like, stop, play, stop playing with me. God, like, stop playing with me. Like, okay. God loves us. God loves us so much. Like, God is so appreciative that we as a collective are ascending that God is kind of like, y'all done filled me up with all this love loving on me. Now, guess what? I got to pour it back into y'all. I got to give it back. I got to give it back. God says she got to give it back. God love us for real, for real, Capricorns. Like, I feel like everything is coming into fruition. And yes, there will be drama. But if you look at this, she got on a white ass dress. Like, a white dress with a motherfucking pink cardigan on. So, white is purity. She's only focusing on dressing herself. And with the cardigan here, she is protecting herself with that self-love, with that role, of course, with that motherfucking self-respect. She is protected. She is guided. And she has her wand up. She has her protection up. With the Queen of Wands, this is literally a new business venture. Like, this is you taking off as far as your business, as far as your career. With the Ace of Wands, you no longer have to juggle two jobs. You don't have to juggle a nine to five plus your business because God is telling you that your business is about to take off. And that devil energy that was holding you back, that was that fear. That that was that scaredness, that, that worry. That things were not going to change and turn out in your favor. Why is the star card here? With the five of pentacles. With the strength card here. With the devil. So I feel like there was somebody in your energy field that was keeping you very stuck to them. Very tied to them. Very kind of like not in your bag. 55 thank you ascended masters. I feel like this person purposely attached to you just so they can leave you out in the cold just so that they can keep you stuck and i feel like that's not happening anymore i i, I feel like it's kind of just like that's just fair play bitch like yeah i think it's kind of funny if you say you love me Okay, so basically, pretty much, I feel like what's happening is these niggas think that you could play me. These niggas think that literally they was going to come in with that devil energy and they thought they was going to be running shit, bitch. Nah, we tamed the fuck out of that shit. We thought we was finna sit here in this devil-like energy. We thought we was out left out in the motherfucking cold. But all we had to realize was that that, was, that shit was fair play. Hey, why you mad? You left me. You hurt me. And now niggas is mad. That's fair play. Karma. Karma is being received to all the motherfuckers have, who have done God's children wrong. Who have done something negatively to, to a child of God. To somebody who, who is protecting this earth. Who is raising the frequency and the vibration of this earth. If you have been attracting good karma, sis, you have tamed you have tamed your debt like this. You have tamed your inner self. You have tamed who you are. You know how to deal with certain situations. And now you just like, bitch, that shit just foreplay. I said foreplay. That's nasty. I mean, fair play. Like, period. So I feel like somebody having foreplay. Like, somebody is definitely like was cheating on you with somebody and they was doing stuff. And you just like, bitch, that's just foreplay. Like, you ain't having my naked like, period. And if that's how you feel, that's how you feel, sis. That's not how I feel, but I'm just saying. You flipped the script on motherfuckers. And then now it's like, tell me why you mad, nigga. Like, you was the one sitting here acting motherfucking crazy, acting like this wasn't what the fuck you wanted. And now you sitting here in my face talking about, oh, where'd you go? Like, hello, I went to go find my motherfucking destiny. What do you mean? 
because you don't want to commit to this. You have me motherfucking jumping through hoops and roofs and shit and like, what? how? How sway did you expect me to keep doing this shit? But I feel like what's happening is God been showing you how to fuck to jump through them motherfucking hoops through your dreams, bitch. Like, you thought that shit was hard. You thought you couldn't do that shit. And then God said, <laughs> let me offer you this little next step right here. Let, let me let me go ahead and give this to you because I see you been motherfucking jumping through hoops. You on this motherfucking little ass rock with this big ass elephant, bitch, and you ain't scared. Let me go ahead and give you some, bitch. It's only fair. It's only fair play that I give you something after all of what you've been through. Right? Right? Like, I'm not tripping, right? Like, y'all understanding me? Y'all feeling me? Y'all know what God trying to say? Like, because I know, like, I know, I know, like, I know, like, I know. I know that, like, all this shit that we've been doing, like, working hard and being a motherfucking test dummy for this earth, all that shit that we've done, all those lifetimes that we've been through the fucking ringer and just been trying to fucking figure the fuck shit out, it's, it's like God is finally like, bitch, here you go. Like, you, you, bitch, celebrate. <laughs> Bitch, and the sun at the bottom of the deck. Bitch, celebrate. Bitch, celebrate. Bitch, it's it is a time for celebration. 2020, we celebrate everything. All of our manifestation coming into fruition. Bitch, we are celebrating. It's a celebration, girl. Go on, get your mouth. To be mad at you. It's kind of like, bitch, everything ain't about you. If I post something on social media, bitches thinking it's about them. 33, thank you. It's not. Everything not about you. It's like, bitch, I'm not mad at you just because I stopped fucking with you, bitch. That don't mean I'm mad at you. That don't mean I got no animosity towards you or none of that. It just means that I'm ascending. Like, I'm flying high. Bitch, I'm I'm, I'm going places. Bitch, I don't got time to see you and be worried about you, bitch. I'm, I'm taking on. Bitch, I don't want to deal with it. Period. I feel like you're being real with people about your happiness. It's kind of just like you letting yourself shine. Like, you kicking in with your girls. You meeting new people. You meeting new friends. Could be getting a new cat. I feel like somebody here with vitiligo is finally accepting their skin condition. Is finally accepting the fact that their skin condition is spiritual. Period. It's kind of like you need to balance yourself out the good and the bad. If you have vitiligo, maybe that's your karmic debt to balance out the good and the bad. The light and the dark, sis. <laughs> Be a light. Be of light. Turn white. Bitch, I don't know. I don't know. I'm just saying. Like, bitch, be of light. Balance that shit the fuck out. I don't know. But I feel like everything is fine. Like, you sitting here thinking, like, you on social media, like, trying to, like, act like everything all good, sis. Like, you don't even know. Everything is being worked out behind you. Like, the water's in a bag. They pink, bitch. Like, that's love. That's abundance. That's happiness. Like, you don't even know. You sitting here. Somebody, one of y'all is stalking somebody. Don't do that. <laughs> 